La 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 la. Don't believe I have to sing myself because I don't have any music here. You know what? Actually, I could put on music. I just have to do it through the iPad, don't I? I guess I could do that. Hi, everybody. We're getting online. Is oh, we are live? Are we live? I think so. We'll have to see what happens if I see the comments. Comments and react. There we go. I got the windows up. That's there. And then we're going to throw something on because I have to do this so ghetto. Anyway. Hi, everybody. If you're just jumping on, we are just jumping on too. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, now it's live. There we go. Now I can see that it's live. Okay, got it. Hopefully, well, that's this camera. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Uh, meanwhile, I have to listen to something. We have to play some kind of music. And I don't know what kind of music that I'm going to play. Ah, there we go. Streambot is running. Thank you very much. Okay, so let us play something. I don't know. We'll just play something. Oh, Alden, you can see. Okay, very good. Yay. Okay, now if I want to change this, I have to go over here. There we go. Okay, we're getting it. Hi, Laura. Thank you. Nice to be seen. <laughs> oh, this is so ghetto. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. This is an abbreviated show because boy is it a mess. I haven't got, oh, Amy, hi, I know, it is so rainy on Kauai. Um, gosh. You know what, we may just have to throw things out the window today. I'm gonna do something here. Yeah, let, let's just go ahead and do that. Hi everybody, welcome to the show. I'm still getting used to my cameras and everything. No, I can't do that also. Hmm. Dave, how are you, sir? Nice to see you on. Ukulele picnic at center stage all day long. I know. And your Sunday show is sold out too. Good job. Congratulations. <clears throat> Tef, thanks for being on. Hi, gang. I'm only figuring there's going to be a few of us because not everybody's on to the uh, Saturday page. And I have a feeling it'll take a while. But that's okay. Just something we had to do. Happy Aloha Saturday, everybody. Uh, if you just joined me, oh, I haven't even told them. Uh, let me see. I, I should t tell Kaylin. I'm, I'm going to yell. Actually, I should take off the microphone so I'm no, not yelling in your ear. Hang on for a second. <laughs> hey, Kaylin, you got a moment? I'm calling our digital director of Sunrise so she can see if she can just do something for me. I may have to message her. She's just right on the other side of the door, but I can't get up because I'm tethered. And then... So, we'll see how this goes. I know, I'm like speaking in code because I'm not speaking in full sentences. But, uh, yeah, we're trying to get through today. Ah! There she is. That's Kaylin. Kaylin's there. Kaylin just went live on Billy V Sunrise Facebook page. Can you share to Hawaii News Now Facebook page for me, please? Question mark. Thank you very much. And I have to spell her name right, otherwise that would just be so wrong. Hi everybody, if you're just joining, I will explain about things here and glad that you are here. We're playing music from the iPad just because I don't have the music connected in. We're at new studios, really new studios. Does that sound better? Amy, thanks for being on. Okay, so here we go. Let, let's just jump into things. So, hi everybody. 
Um, as most of you that are on right now know, uh, what we did is that we have changed from the home studio out here to the Hawaii News Now studios. And it's right after sunrise weekends from 7 to 9 a.m. So what happens is I'll get off the air, I'll have an hour to prepare, and then I'll be with you here. It may not be here, it may be from a different studio. We're, in the, over the next couple of weeks, you're going to help me. What's going to happen is, is I'm going to go to different places and try them out, and you tell me if you like it or not. And if you like it, then that's where we exist and that's where we'll be. Uh, we'll try different things. We'll try with the green screen, like I have in the home studio, or we'll try here in the digital studio, but I have a feeling sometimes the um, reporters will need to use this, so they'll come into here. I usually don't have, I don't have any of the goodies and the flashy stuff that I usually do for all the shows, just because, so um, it's a shorter show. Anyway, um, we're here, and I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. I guess I have to bring in an external drive to have all the flash goodies, and I didn't realize that. So, here we go with today's show. Um, got a chance to talk to a couple of people this week, and so the first one that I'm going to have for you, Ken Burke, he's a producer, and he is with Magnum PI, and he's actually been living here for years and he has produced several Hallmark movies Hallmark movies they come into town he gets hired he gets given the script he goes and goes to all these places and scouts them so in other words he might come over to your house oh wow this would be good for a nightclub scene okay so looks at it hmm okay and then he writes it down books all the dates the actors and everything and then then the crew goes and, and they film a movie. And I'm like mind boggled. I'm like, wow, wh wh what is this? So the other thing is, is that I had to also, you know, with all this wet weather that we've been having, oops, I should lock that. Uh, with all this wet weather that we've been having, that may be difficult. Um, I asked him, well, then how do you do a television show? How do you do something with the amount of work that you have to do for Magnum? and the actors and everybody, how do you get that all together? And then how do you make it work? So that was the question that I asked Mr. Burke. We're only going to take exteriors that were planned for this week and we're going back to stage. So we always have a cover set. We have Robin's Nest, we have HPD, we have such you know standing sets that we can go to. Today, if I would have gotten in trouble, I was in an interior in town, Chewy's house today. So we would, have, we would have been all right today. But then I go tonight over to, uh, is it called Work Play? I think it's called Work Play. And we're using that bar. And uh, so anyways, that is, uh, we are gonna go outside tonight, so hopefully it holds. But Friday we have a plan to duck and cover. So that's what they do in order to keep Magnum PI running and on the go. Uh, it was really nice to talk to Ken. By the way, he is a loyal UH fan, so. Uh, first time that I got to interact with him and didn't realize he says, yeah, I sit right across from you at the UH Sports. So really nice to meet and talk to Ken Burke. But then I got a chance to go down to Magic Island and catch up with Jay Hernandez, who, of course, plays the lead is uh, Thomas Magnum in Magnum P.I. And so I got to spend some time with him down uh, at the shooting site. We're getting to talk story with Jay Hernandez on the set of Magnum P.I. here at Magic Island. <laughs> that's it's right. A little cold, though. It's, it? well, yeah, what is going on with the weather? We're getting you ready for New York. That's, that, that's exactly <laughs> what's happening. Coming up now, you're going to head to New York and do some press up there. I'm going to do some press. I do a lot of press. NBC has been amazing. They've been really pushing the show. Uh, I'm going to do Fallon, Today Show, a bunch of other stuff. It's going to be great. Okay, you've been directing also. <laughs> How has that been for you? Well, the second episode uh, that I've directed of Magnum. Uh, it was really fun. There were some like visual challenges because we kind of went outside the boundaries of, of a sort of normal Magnum episode. So it was a lot of fun. Um, just saw the cut. It looks amazing. Network's super happy about it. Uh, it's great. It's so great. you might do more, baby. I would absolutely do more. I'm actually, in the future, I am going to do a full-length feature. So take that to the bank. 
look out for my movie in 2025 or six. Okay, <laughs> yes. you heard it here first. Let's talk about the brand new season of Magnum PI. I mean, it was uh, kind of a steamy shower shot to end off season four. Yeah, yeah, they 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 started the season off with a bang. Is is what I've <laughs> what well, yeah. I've been told. How's things changed with NBC? <clears throat> Kind of finish the sentence. Magnum PI in season five is more blank. Uh, uh, loved. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, not only you know were the fans there for us when uh, the show got quote unquote canceled, right. um, but uh, NBC stepped in and really, really loves the show. Is supporting the show in a way that I don't think many shows uh, get the opportunity in a in a season five. It's like you know, we're so deep into the to the show that it's just like uncommon for that to happen. Okay, so we're about to see season one coming up, but you know, uh, I'm sorry, uh, episode one, season five here, mm -hmm. but you're already a couple of episodes in, so is it more romantic, is it more action, is it more... It's, uh, it's a, uh, there's a lot of action, obviously, we always have that, but yeah, the, the, uh, the, the relationship with Higgins is sort of, we've made it official so that that's now kind of a through line throughout this this entire season and so you know we get the shower scene there's some other really kind of romantic scenes and then there's a couple cases where we kind of throw a curveball at the audience and make them think that something's happening but it's uh, very different so I, won't, I don't want to spoil it because this happens in in the episode I direct but it's really great some really great stuff okay uh, mm -hmm. what's one thing you want everybody to know about this season for Magnum BI uh, I think I think we're we're kind of playing around a bit in a way that we didn't uh, in prior episodes and um, it's kind I, it's just uh, you know everyone's familiar with the characters and the story and 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 um, there's kind of a shorthand with the audience so I think now we get to sort of play outside of that and do some things that are a little bit different do you get to get out into the water more in Hawaii even off camera oh uh, all the time now I mean I've picked up surfing since I've been out here and uh, any chance I get, it's been flat on the South Shore, but uh, you know, one, two feet, I'm not, like I've, I've progressed to the point where I need at least three or four feet. You know okay, usually we talk to yeah. Zachary about surfing, but now we get to talk to you about Now surfing. I'm the guy, okay? Okay, <laughs> got it. Uh, message for the Hawaii fans that watch Magnum P.I. Uh, thank you for being uh, such huge fans and, and supporting the show. You know, we've been out here for five years and everybody opens their, their doors, their houses, their restaurants, their businesses to us and, and the film commission here, the, the city, the state, every, everybody's been really, really great with us over the past five years. So thank you very much. All right, once again, they're gonna be filming all over Oahu the next couple of months, but they are on this Sunday night on NBC on Hawaii News Now. Jay Hernandez. Check it out. Go get it, <laughs> Thank you. All right, once again, Magnum PI getting geared up to go. That's gonna be Sunday night. This is gonna be on KHNL 6 to 8. Uh, season four episodes, and then the new season five episode will be at eight o'clock. Gerard, how are you, bro? Nice to see you on. Thank you for being online. Um, there is so much happening with the film industry in Hawaii, but not only with, you know, of course, big television shows and, and movies that are coming in, but now local filmmakers are really making an impact and doing things. And we're going to be sharing some of that with you coming up in the next couple of weeks. Want to say hello to Tita Nui, who is over on uh, Hawaii. She's on the island of Maui right now. <sighs> Sister, if you were over in at your home down in Waipio Valley, it, you would need a paddle board, and that's just to get out of your driveway, I think, this morning. So just just kind of a heads up. And, and Hawaii Island, uh, just a little bit rough. Um, you got some heavy showers and flooding over there. As a matter of fact, uh, make sure that you're watching a little bit later on today, uh, this evening. Uh, Casey Lund will have more from uh, Hawaii Island as we are covering the weather situation there. I wish I could bring you in and, and show you more things, and uh, but we just had, don't have it set up yet. One thing that is going on today that after we're done here, I'm going to ask you to go and check out on Hawaii News Now's Facebook page. They are streaming the services for Danny Kalei Kini, which is today. And as soon as we're done with this show, I'm going to go ahead on over there also and give uh, my aloha from myself and my family. Danny Kalei Kini uh, was also one of those who served as a mentor for me throughout the years 
here and there where I got to talk story with him. He gave advice. Um, we got to share time together in, in different ways uh, on the entertainment side. So if you get a chance, go ahead and check out his services are online from Kauai Hau Church. And they're on right now. As a matter of fact, as I see one of the monitors just behind the camera because we're in the Hawaii News Now studios. Um, and that's on Hawaii News Now's Facebook page and their digital platforms. Um, one more story that we really wanted to touch on because it's important is what's going on with Mahina Olalo Hawaii. That's Hawaiian Language Month. So got to talk story with Maui Bennett a little bit about what's happening. Maui, if you're watching, well then make sure that you head on down today for this. We're getting to talk story with Maui Bartlett from Honolulu about Mahina Olalo Hawaii and it's Hawaiian Language Month. Uh, brother, aloha. Aloha, Billy. So nice to be here this morning to talk with you about Mahina Olalo Hawaii, all the things going on this month and how we can celebrate Hawaiian language. We have events coming up on Maui and Oahu. Tell me about both of them. We have two events coming up. One this Saturday on Maui at Queen Ka'ahumanu Mall. Um, it's called Ola Ka'i. It's an event celebrating Hawaiian language, bringing our Hawaiian community together for some Olava'i speech competitions for our keiki, our Omana, our students in our Kulakaya Puni, our Hawaiian Immersion Schools will be participating and practicing and growing their Olelo through the competition. And also, we'll be showing a screening of the Hawaiian language play Ia uh, that was put on by the University of Hawaii Hawaiian Theater Program just a few years back in 2019. So we just want to welcome the community to come and check it out and enjoy um, each other's company and celebrate as we celebrate Olelo Hawaii um, in this Mahino Olelo Hawaii Hawaiian Language Month. Tell me about the island of Oahu. What do you have coming up for Oahu residents? We're going to have another event at Kamakanali'i the following Saturday. Um, and it's going to be much the same. We're again going to have speech competitions uh, in that area, just trying to bring folks together to celebrate Olelo Hawaii. Um, so that will be on Saturday the 25th at Kamakanali'i. What time is that going to be? It'll be um, for much of the day, but starting at 10 to about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Talk about um, something that uh, even I've been kind of involved with. There is a way to keep up your Olelo Hawaii and to practice that is an app that's online. It's with Duolingo, correct? That's right, that's right. We partnered with Duolingo to create an Olelo Hawaii course on their language learning platform. Uh, we being Kumeme Schools and Kanai Okana, uh, we have this team of Kumu Olelo Hawaii Hawaiian language teachers who have created this course content and we have worked with Duolingo to make that course content available to folks on their platform for free so you can download their app Duolingo language learning app on your phone and go through this Olelo Hawaii course um, or you can go to their website Duolingo.com on your computer and it's completely free you can do it on your own time um, you can practice and grow your Olelo, maybe you've had some exposure before, you can get a refresher. And if you've never um, tried learning before, this is an opportunity. We hope for you to kind of dip your feet into Hawaiian language learning. Which this is really neat because, you know, we spend so much time on our phones that, you know, if we're in line uh, in the DMV, we are in line to buy tickets for something and we're just sitting there. You can actually be doing this and actually be sharing it with others and getting others involved as well, right? Yeah, that's totally true. Uh, folk can do it wherever they they have free time. Um, you know, a lot of people have a hard time making it into the classroom. So we wanted to try to make language learning available to folks um, in a way that was very accessible. Yeah, if you can do it on your phone, you can do it pretty much anywhere. What is one thing that you want to tell everybody about Mahina Olelo Hawaii Month? What's one thing that you want to pass on to everybody? I just want to encourage everybody to um, celebrate this time. You know, it wasn't recognized in this way just, you know, a few years ago. It hasn't been that long that we've had this official Mahina Olelo Hawaii Hawaiian Language Month. 
um, and we just want to increase awareness everywhere about the Hawaiian language, um, about how it is growing and thriving, uh, and it is a living language, and we want to encourage everyone to use the language, and if you don't know any, to maybe learn a little and support the movement of Olelo revitalization. All right, brother there, giving us the lowdown on uh, Duolingo. So it's, it's learning Hawaiian language uh, on your phone, on your digital device, which is really cool because you can sit there forever in a day and just, and you're, you're learning. I am actually increasing my vocabulary with, so, with lo, the words I haven't learned before. For like about two weeks, it's like, oh, I know that word. Okay, this is easy. Okay, this is fun. This is fast. And then now it's starting to slow down because I'm having to learn words, but that's, it's great. So if you get the chance, Duolingo, download that, and you can start to learn Hawaiian language. they got other languages on there as well. Um, if you're just joining us, thank you so much. Uh, let me see here. Right now it's 1022. Uh, we've been about 22 minutes into the show. Usually we're longer, but we're kind of scaled down today because this is the first time that we're doing it in this day part on a Saturday instead of a Friday. And so we are still building the studio out and figuring how we go live from here down in the studios of Hawaii News now. But we'll figure it out. So with that, I don't have a music video for you today, but I'll have one for you next week. So uh, do me a favor. If you are an entertainer and you have entertainment news for me or any kind of news, studio at BillyV.live. Okay? Studio at BillyV.live. And give me that information there. And that will just about do it. Mahalo to Maui uh, for being with us today. Uh, Jay Hernandez and Ken Burke from Magnum PI. Make sure you're watching NBC Television. That's Magnum PI coming up for you. Brand new season Sunday nights. And for those of you that live outside of Hawaii, I know that's a way to get your Hawaii fixed to see all those places that you know, right? Um, that's going to about do it for me. Okay, this is the camera here. And just so I've tried this out, uh, I should be able to switch cameras. I should be able to switch cameras. And the one out of the laptop. There. Okay. Ew. I don't like that one. I like the other one better. Okay. That's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching uh, Billy V Live. New season. Episode 1. Baby steps, right? Stay dry if you're in the Hawaiian Islands. That Kona Lo is still around and keeping us all wet. Carly, love, thank you so much. Italy, I get to have dinner with you now. Is that the deal? Is this dinner time where you are? That's awesome. USA Network has a Magnum Marathon today. Okay. So, go get your Magnum on. Uh, or if you have the Paramount Plus app, then you can go ahead and just binge watch all you want. Karen, thank you very much for being with uh, us uh, over from the Kona side. Tootie, I know you're in Ocean View and you must be like wet like really really drenched from everything that's been happening with the rain so stay dry yeah uh be careful uh kuhao also you guys too because i know that you're over in waimea so um but enjoy today's first show thank you thank you very very much darty so we need to catch up and we need to talk story because i need to know more about the artist but um next week we have to tackle uh Thank you. Okay. Oi. But safe and dry. Okay, good. Uh, we have to talk more about uh, Hawaii artists, Hawaii Island artists. So I need the lowdown from you and I need to catch up. So we'll do that next week. Uh, first one. Thanks, Mike. And then, yes, we eat late in Italy. Okay. On behalf of my crew, because uh, actually the producers that are usually with me are, we miscommunicated on dates and I didn't tell them that we were going live today. And they are scattered. They're busy. Gosh, it's been busy lately. I'll see you next week, Saturday morning, 10 a.m. Mala mopono, aloha ahui ho. Do we still have the, can we have one of my uh, things work today? Let's see if we can get it to work. Hang on for a second. And that would be the closer. Does, I don't even know if that does work. We should try. Does the closing end, end card go? Nope, it's not there later. Not either, either. Okay, so how do we turn it off?